man's biggest fear is putting in work towards a woman, which is what a lot of you guys have been through. You put in a lot of work towards a woman you was attracted to. You put a lot of work in conversating. You put in a lot of work in impressing her. But your biggest fear and the fear that everyone face is getting played. If you never want to get played again, just stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Welcome to the Anthony Spade channel. Okay, welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe button, and the notifications button at the end of the video. But first, watch the video. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about how to not get played again. I have some things that I want you to psychologically pay attention to. Now, this is gonna be going for the guys that are dating, and I'm gonna make a statement on that. I want a lot of guys to know my channel sometimes are going to be talking the negative on women and then on other times I'm going to actually be teaching guys a couple little techniques that could work that are still dating and I say that a lot in my videos because everybody level of hatred towards a woman is not the same. So I have to adjust to my audience and give them what they want. And a lot of people that are on my Patreon ask for certain videos that I make. But what I'm going to teach the guys that are dating is what to watch for to keep yourself from getting played. All right. First, you have to be honest with yourself. All right. That's the biggest trait in becoming red pill is you're able to face reality. Remember, when Neo took the red pill, he didn't run out and dog women out. He faced reality. All right, so start looking at your expectations of what you're actually trying to get out of the woman that you're dealing with. All right, lower your expectations. Do not expect much, but you're not looking to go far. Remember, you're red pill. You're only looking for sexual encounters, if that, because you're supposed to still be on your dream. Next, make sure you communicate your deal breakers with her. In other words, you have to be brutally honest with a woman and telling her what you do not like in relationship like you got to start talking about that early so she know what the boundaries are that if she cross those boundaries that you're not going to deal with her anymore all right you're going to learn to not get played when she already know your tolerance of what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept a lot of guys get played because they tolerance was so high that he allowed her to get away with a lot of stuff that she abused it and lost respect. But if you stop her from getting away with things from the beginning by setting boundaries, that keeps her from plotting on going past those boundaries to watch you react. You gain your respect. That'll keep her from playing you. Women play guys they lose respect on, not guys that they respect. Next, be realistic about everything that you do. Be realistic with the girl you with, realistic about the situation, realistic about the relationship that you are in. You cannot try to think where the relationship's gonna go, where you want it to be, how you want it to, to play out. Relationships don't work like that. Things change all the time. They be going in one relationship and then it goes into a next. But when you're realistic, you have to stay focused on your ultimate goal and that is bettering you. Remember, when you're bettering yourself, women adapt to men that are bettering their self. They don't like a man to adapt to them while they bettering themselves. Women don't want you up under them making sure that they got on the right dress. They make up look good. That they that. They don't want you to be their cheerleader. They want to be your cheerleader. Cheerleader. So be realistic. And the realistic of this, you need to be chasing a dream before you even jump into the dating world. Next. Never compromise to her. You have to understand you're taking control of your life and you're taking control over your dating situations, which means there's no more compromising to her, which means you decide what date y'all going. If you ain't going to the restaurant you want to go to, then you don't want to go on a date, period. You got to start letting her know that your time is valuable, but when she's out with you, she should appreciate it. So. You only want to go where you want to go because that's the only time that you have available to do it. 
And if she wants to go on another date, then tell her, you could go with somebody else on another date. I tell girls that all the time. Like, all right, listen, I can't go out that date. I'll catch you some other time. Or I want to go here. No, and we'll go, okay, cool. I, then we'll have to reschedule. Don't be afraid to do that. Do not compromise. Everything has to be adjusted to you. That's what's going to keep you from getting played is by not adjusting to her. Next, you have to put off sex as long as you can because sex is her superpower. The quicker you have sex with a woman, the faster she could destroy you. A lot of guys get rape charges because they're moving too fast and they're doing certain things with women too fast. You got to understand, when women start making moves too fast, their emotions get discombobulated. And then when she realized what her emotions did, her conscious mind may make another decision. So as a man, the longer you put off having sex with her and maybe flirting with her, the more power you're going to gain. And the reason why you're going to gain is because you're knocking her off her game the whole time. Remember, if you're not sexually attracted to her, you already have the power because she uses sexual attraction to control every man around her. So what you have to do to keep from getting played is to not try to have sex with her at all. By the time you get around to having sex with a woman, she should be ready to pull your clothes off because you made her wait so long. You want her to be begging for you to have sex with her. You don't want to be begging for sex, trying to butter her up so you can get it. You're setting yourself up to get played if you got to work for it. So act like she's a friend that you ain't working for. Remember, if you call her every single day and you don't never try to sleep with her, she's going to think something up. But if you call her no once a week and you ain't trying to sleep with her, she going to think you got something better and she going to want to try to conquer you over the thing that's better than her. So try to restrain from sex as long as possible so she starts guessing, all right, he must have other girls. Now she puts herself in the game. Now you're in control. Next, never get advice from any of your friends, from any of your guy friends about a girl that you like. Never do that. You got to realize when it comes to women, there have been more wars over women than any other type of war ever in history. Because men could be your friends, but they can change when it comes to a woman that they like, especially if they can sense that that other girl don't like you. So if you don't want to get played, you have to keep your relationships private for a long period of time. You got to be very careful with that because the more people that know about your relationship, the more people that can butt in. You could be setting yourself up to get played by introducing her to somebody that she may catch an eye to. You can't do that too early when you're dating a woman. You must go through your steps. So don't be too eager to introduce her to friends, family, sisters, brothers, mom. None of that. Not because she may go mess with them, but because she learns too much too fast. Next, never get off track during the honeymoon phase. All right, the honeymoon phase of the relationship is where the chemistry is actually connecting. The sex is good. Y'all friendship is good. All right, and you start getting that special chemistry. A lot of times, this will come on one of those days where y'all have spent more time with each other than you've ever spent. Remember, when you're away from a woman for a while, right, and then you guys finally get that day where you're around each other every day, it could be a magical moment. But what a lot of guys do is they forget, I haven't been around her that much. It's special because the desirement built up. But what a lot of guys do after that day, they fall in love. They try to rush the relationship. They start looking too needy. And then the girls start looking like, man, I thought he was a challenge the whole time, but it wasn't. He was just scared and shy. Now he revealing how much he knew it, he, how much he likes me. You cannot do that at all. So don't get off track during the honeymoon phase. That's where y'all chemistry is really connecting. And you start thinking, man, this could be a girlfriend. This could be the one. No. No, 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 no. Don't ever get that comfortable. Enjoy the honeymoon phase, jump right back out and go back to your, I can't talk to you like that. All right, stay in control. Your controlledness in a relationship to keep from getting paid, played is to not be around her that much. Don't communicate with her that much. Stay on your dreams at all times. All right, maintain the mystery. That's what all that's gonna do. The more you take control of the situation, it's going to force her to adapt to you. The more she adapts to you, 
that means that she's constantly trying to figure you out. When a woman's trying to figure you out, when she's not around you, she's constantly thinking about you. That's what a woman does. A woman catches orgasms trying to figure a man out. Imagine like doing a Rubik's Cube with a heart on. All right, that's what a woman's doing whenever she can't figure a man out. She's doing a Rubik's Cube, right? Getting wet, thinking about how he's thinking. So to keep from getting played, you gotta always be in the position where she's thinking about you and she don't know that much, all right? This is Anthony Spade. You do these things, you would not get played. You don't believe me? Go ask any woman that you know. Hit that subscribe button. Hasta la vista.